I love speaking. Yeah. Pancetta. Pancetta. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to get the fatty bit. I'm just going to eye this bit. Look at that. Mm. Very smoky mm. on the nose. Sort of reminding me more of the flavour of sort of salami than pancetta. Mm. Beautiful. Mm. Very pretty, isn't it? Wow. It's like ham on. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Shall we? Thank you, John. I, I almost prefer it. It's so Could lovely to see proper amounts of fat on something, it's sort of halfway between a pancetta and a lardo in terms right. of that you're really making the fat the star as it, you know as it should be because it's where the flavour is where basically. Yeah. So it from, yeah. It is interesting, there's a lot more um, people in this country now producing these products. I think almost 10 years ago, I think if we'd sat around this table, you know, it'd be quite rare. Mm. Now it's almost a sort of common part of the sort of judging process. So mm. I think the, the ant is up, the competition has got stiffer. And mm. I, but I think these are really lovely. Mm. Mm. I can eat all of these. <laughs> no, me too, I have a thing for anything hamon related anyway. Okay, I'm gonna tell you. Mm. Where it's from, so it's Guanciale, it's from Capriola's Fine Foods, and you're right, William, that it is based in West Dorset. And obviously the cheek of the pig, which has been cured, fermented and air-dried. Mm. Cheek, cheek, mm. cheek. The pig. Um, I think it would be also lovely, the amount of fat would be really great as a sort of, with pasta or something where you just let that fat melt in the pan. So not necessarily taking it super crispy, just, yeah. but just getting that flavour that would coat everything or on mm -hmm. warm toast, like lardo, where yeah. you just, oh. oh. Yeah, just have a it on a little. Glass, glass of sherry. Oh. Mm. No, this, is a, this is a, such a good ad for the pig because it's the cheek of the pig. Mm. And I think that's, that really takes one by surprise. Yeah. You think you can do this with a pig cheek? Yeah, mm -hmm. there's mm -hmm. nothing that animal cannot produce. Yeah, it's right. amazing. Delicious. I mean, normally with the pig cheek, you would braise it, slow mm. cooked. Right. But doing something like this is unique and mm. delicious. Yeah. I mean, imagine making a carbonara at home. Your friends come around and they mm. say, wow, that pancetta is mm. good. And you go, this is West Dorset pig yes. cheek. Yeah. They wouldn't mm. believe you. Yeah. yeah, they really wouldn't. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's pork fat. So once it renders down, when, when you have pork fat on most things, it's going to be delicious. So you could do... Roasted vegetables, you render that down, you add it to carrots, you add it to, you know, for Christmas time, to any kind of cabbage sprouts would be amazing. I think if, mm. you, were, if you were cooking some peas, you threw some of mm. these bits yes. in, you know, with yeah. some, uh, a little bit of um, charred, you know, little gems. Mm. Oh, that would be lovely. Turn this in. Mm. You wouldn't need any really, extra really oil, lovely. would you? A bit yeah. of pepper. Yeah, mm. maybe A little some bit of uh, cracking some like chilies. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. yeah. Some chilies in. I just stick it on a bit of bread, to be honest. Nice bread, <laughs> pop it on. Bit of bit of chili chutney yeah. on the side, you know. Dip and go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's exactly great it just on its own, isn't mm. it? But it's great watching us looking at this thing, mm. just slobbering over the possibilities <laughs> <I know>. of it. <laughs>